Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is a data breach security drama around a kid tracking company. You Know Kids is a company that helps parents keep track of their kids on social networks and on their mobile devices. This week, the company suffered a very serious data breach, but from a good guy security researcher. A researcher by the name of Chris Vickery found a significant problem in the website associated with You Know Kids. Basically, Vickery found a very basic MongoDB configuration flaw. You know kids didn't set a password on this database, and this allowed Vickery to actually download the database. And in doing so, he gained access to almost 7 million kids' text messages, almost 2 million images from the kids, GPS location, email address location, and basically 1,700 profiles of the kids on this particular website. So a lot of serious information. Now, Vickery is a white hat researcher, so he did disclose this to the company and also a data breach organization. And at the beginning, the communication between the company and Vickery seemed to be good. They quickly patched the vulnerability and seemed to be taking steps to make sure this problem doesn't happen again. However, in some blog posts between the CEO and Vickery, there seems to be some disagreements. For instance, the CEO seems to be questioning some of Vickery's motives, talking about contacting the authorities, and they want to make sure Vickery deletes the database and any screen captures after this particular disclosure. On the other hand, Vickery thinks that the company's response is kind of weird and aggressive. He's actually disclosed flaws to many companies before, and in his own words, they usually want to hire him to help them improve their security. This company, while they started off pretty positive, seemed to be accusing Vickery of doing something against the law. In any case, I personally don't think it's the right way you should work with security researchers that are trying to help close your security flaws. Now, I just thought the security drama between a researcher and a company was an interesting story, but more importantly, it has practical takeaways we can all learn from. First of all, if your organization runs a website that has customer data on it, it's very important that you secure that website and its database backend. Now, there's all kinds of different tips on how to do this, from how to securely develop web code to how to harden and properly configure your database server. My best tip is check out OWASP.org, the Open Web Application Security Project. That site has all kinds of great tips on how you can secure your website and its backend database. The second, more abstract tip is to all the consumers out there. More and more, a lot of us are starting to consider these sorts of cloud-based third-party services where we share a whole lot of data in order to get some sort of value back from that particular service. While there's nothing wrong with many of these services, we need to think about the types of data we're willing to share with the third party, and we need to also spend some time vetting that third party to make sure that they can protect the types of data we're sharing with them. This You Know Kids service that's trying to protect kids sounds like a neat idea. However, the same type of data you're using to help you as a parent track your kids, unfortunately, is the type of data a bad guy can use to find your kids and defeat the whole purpose of this protection service for kids. So as you're sharing very sensitive data like GPS location and things like that, you might want to consider it and at least make sure that the company you're sharing with has a strong security background. Anyways, just an interesting security drama. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.